Warm well, welcome to our Palm Sunday service. We begin our worship in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Maybe we'll rise to sing our opening hymn, All Glory, Lord, and Honor to Thee, Redeemer King. Good morning and a warm welcome once again to our Palm Sunday service. We'll be following the special order in the service. Our theme today, brokenness and healing among the witnesses. We prepare ourselves to worship God. People of God, sing Hosanna. Hosanna. 
People of God, lift high your palms. Even the stones cry out. The lips of children honor him. Assemble as we gather to worship, to follow him and sing God's endless praise. We remain standing to offer our prayers of adoration. Open to us the gates of righteousness that we may meet you. Save us, we pray, O Lord. Give us success, O Lord. Lo, your kind comes to you, triumphant and victorious he. How abundant is your goodness and how liberating is your presence. Gracious and loving God, we praise and adore you. Grant us the joy of meeting you as you experience the joy of meeting your father in the wilderness. Give us the grace to experience grace in our journeys of life as we follow you as your disciples. You humbled yourself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. We exalt your name, we glorify your name, we magnify your name, and we bow our knees and confess with our tongues that you are Lord. To God be the glory. Amen. Kindly be seated. Dear people of God, especially children, our God is the creator of the whole universe. He is the king of all the earth. As we come before him, let us examine ourselves to see if he acknowledged his rule in our lives. We keep a moment of silence, taking time to examine our lives before God. Let us confess before our Lord God through the responsive prayer of confession. Lord Jesus, the cries of Hosanna indicate expressions of the values of the kingdom of God. We have failed to strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness and have failed to believe in the promise that all these things will be given to us. Forgive us and heal us in our brokenness, O Lord. We confess that we are tempted to serve two masters. We are unable to make choices that testify your name. We are caught in a superficial world of serving God and wealth. Forgive us and heal us in our brokenness, O Lord. We confess that whenever we pray your kingdom come, we do not truly desire to be under your rule. Contrary to our prayer, we often store up for ourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust consume and where thieves break in and steal. Forgive us and heal us in our brokenness, O Lord. We confess that our shouts of Hosannas do not express the desires of our hearts for justice, peace, and love. We come to you with our gifts without being reconciled with you and each other. Humble us and give us the spirit of meekness in living lives of harmony and compassion. Forgive us and heal us in our brokenness, O Lord. Loving God, friend and savior, continue to forgive our sins and heal our fractured faith and love. Empower us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world in a broken world. Let our good works be a testimony of faith and give glory to the Father in heaven. Amen. We have been reflecting on the theme brokenness and healing during the season of Lent. And on this Palm Sunday, our theme brokenness and healing among the witnesses. Please join in saying the collect for the day. O God, our liberator, the triumphal entry of Jesus Christ, your Son, as a servant king, 
was an emphatic sign that he had won over all powers and principalities of this world. By his coming, he had cleansed the temple. We plead, O Lord, let Jesus Christ reign and rule over the church, so that we, your people, may be cleansed from all ungodliness and brokenness. May we turn to you with repentance and be healed. Help us to be true witnesses and rejoice in hope. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, world without end. Amen. Now we'll be favored by a special number by Suthi at Andrew, St. Andrews, titled Jai Koduva Devurige Koti Koti Stotra Jeeva Nidva Yesu Rajanige Indendigu Stotra Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hardway, Ananda Dvaninda Ogulwe. It's one of the oldest songs sung since many decades, original author and composer of lyrics is not known. Suthi is, however, rendering it for the first time with the stanza added for Palm Sunday. Suthi at St. Andrews will now present Jai Kodwa Devarige Koti Koti Stotra.
Thank you, Sutia St. Andrews, for rendering that very popular song that has uplifted God's people over years. God bless each one of us. Maybe you all rise as we sing our congregational hymn, number 235, 235, Hosanna, Lord Hosanna, the little children sang. Kindly be seated. A warm welcome to each one of you this morning. It's indeed my privilege and honor to welcome our preacher today and for the Holy Week, the Reverend Dr. Vasant Renik. Dr. Renik is a sports person, banker, TV actor, participated in the Olympics, represented the country. God called him into full-time ministry, served the Karnataka Auxiliary for about 17 years and particularly was instrumental. God used him to bring about about 45 different versions of the Canada Bible, including the study Bibles. We're so blessed to have him as a preacher and we are thankful for his ministry and we especially also want to welcome his wife, Dr. Christy Sugandhi, into our midst on behalf of the Pastorate Committee and the congregation, a warm welcome to the Reverend Dr. Vasant Renik. We'll have the scripture portions read to us. First, the reading from the Old Testament. Thank you. 
The Old Testament lesson is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 56, verses 1 to 8. Isaiah, chapter 56, verses 1 to 8. Thus says the Lord, Maintain justice and do what is right. For soon my salvation will come and my deliverance be revealed. Happy is the mortal who does this, the one who holds it fast, who keeps the Sabbath not profaning it, and refrains from doing any evil. Do not let the foreigner joined to the Lord say, The Lord will surely separate me from his people. And do not let the eunuch say, I am just a dry tree. For thus says the Lord, to the eunuchs who keep my Sabbaths, who chose the things that please me and hold fast my covenant, I will give in my house and within my walls a monument and a name better than sons and daughters. I will give them an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. And the foreigners who join themselves to the Lord to minister to him, to love the name of the Lord and to be his servants, all who keep the Sabbath and do not profane it and hold fast my covenant, these I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord, who gathers the outcasts of Israel, I will gather others to them besides those already gathered. Here ends the lesson. Thanks be to thee, O God. We'll have the reading from the epistle. <clears throat> the epistle lesson is taken from the first epistle of Paul, 2 Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 16 to 23. 1 Corinthians, chapter 3, verses 16 to 23. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future. All belong to you and you belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. Here ends the lesson. Thanks be to thee, O God. We all stand for the reading of the gospel. ಈ ದಿನದ ಸುವಾರ್ತ ವೇದ ಪಾರಾಯಣವು ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕನು ಬರೆದ ಸುವಾರ್ತೆ ಹನ್ನೊಂದ ಹನ್ನೊಂದನೆಯ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ವಚನಗಳು ಒಂದರಿಂದ ಹನ್ನೊಂದರವರೆಗೆ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾರ್ಕನು ಬರೆದ ಸುವಾರ್ತೆ ಹನ್ನೊಂದನೆಯ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ವಚನಗಳು 
ಒಂದರಿಂದ ಹನ್ನೊಂದರವರೆಗೆ ಏಸು ಅರಸನಂತೆ ಎಸು ಎರುಸಲೇಮಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರವೇಶ ಮಾಡಿತು ಅವರು ಎರುಸಲೇಮಿಗೆ ಸಮೀಪಿಸಿ ಎಣ್ಣೆ ಮರಗಳ ಗುಡ್ಡದ ಬಳಿಯಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಬೆತ್ತೆಗೆಗೂ ಬೆತ್ತಾನ್ಯಕ್ಕೂ ಬಂದಾಗ ಆತನು ತನ್ನ ಶಿಷ್ಯರಲ್ಲಿ ಇಬ್ಬರನ್ನು ಕರೆದು ನಿಮ್ಮೆದುರಿಗಿರುವ ಹಳ್ಳಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿರಿ ಅದರೊಳಕ್ಕೆ ಸೇರುತ್ತಿರುವಾಗಲೇ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಟ್ಟಿರುವ ಒಂದು ಕತ್ತೆ ಮರಿಯನ್ನು ಕಾಣುವಿರಿ ಇದುವರೆಗೆ ಅದರ ಮೇ ಅದರ ಮೇಲೆ ಯಾರೂ ಹತ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿ ಹಿಡುಕೊಂಡು ಬನ್ನಿರಿ ಯಾವನಾದರೂ ನಿಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಏನು ಹೀಗೆ ಮಾಡುವುದು ಎಂದು ಕೇಳಿದರೆ ಇದು ಸ್ವಾಮಿಯವರಿಗೆ ಬೇಕಾಗಿದೆ ಅವರು ತಡ ಮಾಡದೆ ತಿರುಗಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಕಳುಹಿಸಿಕೊಡುವರು ಅನ್ನಿರಿ ಎಂದು ಹೇಳಿ ಕಳುಹಿಸಿದನು ಆ ಶಿಷ್ಯರು ಹೋಗಿ ಬೀದಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹೊರಗೆ ಬಾಗಿಲಿನ ಹತ್ತಿರ ಒಂದು ಕತ್ತೆ ಮರಿಯ ಕಟ್ಟಿರುವುದನ್ನು ಕಂಡು ಅದನ್ನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿದರು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಂತಿದ್ದವರಲ್ಲಿ ಕೆಲವರು ಈ ಮರಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಚ್ಚಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡುತ್ತೀರಿ ಎಂದು ಅವರನ್ನು ಕೇಳಿದ್ದಕ್ಕೆ ಏಸು ಹೇಳಿದಂತೆಯೇ ಅವರು ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಆ ಜನರು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗಗೊಡಿಸಿದರು ಶಿಷ್ಯರು ಆ ಮರಿಯನ್ನು ಏಸುವಿನ ಬಳಿಗೆ ತಂದು ತಮ್ಮ ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನು ಅದರ ಮೇಲೆ ಹಾಕಲು ಆತನು ಅದನ್ನು ಹತ್ತಿ ಕೂತುಕೊಂಡನು ಆಗ ಅನೇಕರು ತಮ್ಮ ಬಟ್ಟೆಗಳನ್ನು ದಾರಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಸಿದರು ಬೇರೆ ಕೆಲವರು ತೋಟಗಳಿಂದ ಚಿಗುರುಗಳನ್ನು ಕೊಯ್ದು ತಂದು ಹಾಸಿದರು ಆತನ ಹಿಂದೆಯೂ ಮುಂದೆಯೂ ಹೋಗುತ್ತಿದ್ದವರು ಜಯ ಕರ್ತನ ಹೆಸರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುವವನಿಗೆ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಿತೃವಾದ ದಾವಿದನ ರಾಜ್ಯವು ಬರುತ್ತದೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಮೇಲಣ ಲೋಕಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಜಯ ಎಂದು ಅರ್ಭಟಿಸಿದರು ತರುವಾಯ ಏಸು ಎರುಸಲೇಮನ್ನು ಸೇರಿ ದೇವಾಲಯಕ್ಕೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಸುತ್ತಲೂ ಎಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಅಷ್ಟರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಜೆಯಾದದ್ದರಿಂದ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಮಂದಿ ಶಿಷ್ಯರನ್ನು ಕರಕೊಂಡು ಬೇತ್ಯಾನಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊರಟು ಹೋದನು ಎಂಬ ಓದೇ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರವಾಗಲಿ ಯುವತಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಆತಕ್ಕೆ ಮಹಾಸೋಮ ಕೂಡಿದೆ ಓಡಿಯಾಟಕ್ಕೇನು ಕಾರಣ ಬಂದಾತ ಯಾರು ಬಲಿರ Kindly be seated. Dr. Vasanth Renik and Dr. Christy Sugandhi continue to serve the Lord as a family. 
Dr. Christy Sugandhi will sing a special song in preparation for the sermon, after which Dr. Vasan Zrenik will share God's word. Good morning, church. The triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem was a fulfillment of the prophecy as mentioned in Zechariah 9.9. The king who entered with humility, simplicity, and authority, he is the coming king of kings. We too can shout and sing, Hosanna, Hosanna to the son of David. Who's 
Hosanna, 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 Wish you all a blessed Palm Sunday. Thank you. On behalf of me and my wife, I greet all of you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I thank God for giving this opportunity to me and my wife to minister amongst you on the very special occasion, the Palm Sunday. And I thank Reverend Dr. Dexter Mabin, the pastoral team and the pastorate committee for consenting and inviting. It's so, it's not the first time, of course, when I was in Bible society, Quite a few times I have come and ministered amongst you and even the pastor who invited me those days, he's here now, Reverend Kotian Aya and uh, Mrs. Jesse Ranjane, Reverend Jesse Ranjane and also I think some other pastors also. It is such a solemn occasion because regarding the triumphal entry, it is not only in one gospel. It's mentioned in four Gospels about the same thing in a different way. Because if you read all the four Gospels, you'll come to know how much is being spoken about the Palm Sunday and the triumphal entry of Jesus Christ. There are no preparations at all. And it was not the first time that Jesus was entering Jerusalem. In his three and a half years ministry, and when he was with his parents, he would have come many times to this place. But this time, it was a unique event. And he was an, our God is a God who is omniscient, omnipresent. And, you know, he's, he didn't even know that there will be a court in the village. He didn't go the previous day and check everything. Everything all right? Have you tied it? Because my disciples will come and untie. No. He knew exactly what is there. And he also told them what to say. And when they went there, they found the colt, the donkey. And then the people asked them. They said, Lord needs it. That's all. They said, okay, take it and go. So it is not a prepared event. What a welcome. That too, a king will never go on a donkey when he enters anywhere. Even in Dasra time, we know Mysore Maharaja, they will decorate the elephant and they will sit, there will be a chair built there on top of it and he will go on the procession. And we too had a procession today. It's not Bharat Joda procession, or a political procession, but it was a procession to tell people that God loves you. People may ask, what is a procession? Why they went like this? Never on Sundays we saw, but this happens every year. It has become a program in the church that every year there should be Palm Sunday, Monday Thursday, and Easter Sunday and the Holy Week and the 40 days fasting. 40 days Lent days, I know many of you would have fasted, many of you have prepared yourself. In our place, I, I'm from a very small place called Bagalkot. We didn't even have a church there. There was one family called Prabhaka. He was so big hearted man, he is running a hotel, Mohan Tea Club. So on Sunday he will prepare, put the benches, alter the table 
and the church will go on the pastor will come from gulaid go to about 17 18 kilometers from there reverend sons and we we didn't have sunday school we didn't have vbs so in the childhood days i didn't know what it is only after we grew i came to bangalore with a different purpose as reverend dexter may have introduced me as a sportsman as an actor or this that but now i am introduce myself my introduction is changed i am a saved sinner a soul winner that is my introduction wherever i go a saved sinner a soul winner without that nothing will happen in this world because god is import you know his importance is the soul of a man that is why he says one soul is more than the wealth of this world so his plan and purpose to enter jerusalem in this way was only to show people that he loves them he blesses them he will answer them when a celebrity is enter some hall the all people who are sitting there will stand up that is a standing ovation given i was 87 no 87 i played for india in 14 asian baseball championship but in 88 i went to olympics seoul olympics the first day the inaugural the sprint will be the 100 meters it starts with 100 meter dash ben johnson created a world record later on it was removed because of the dope test that is a different matter we and our sports minister margaret alva we were all sitting in the second row there was an announcement the four time gold winner janet from usa is entering the stadium 135000 people stood up that was a standing ovation given for that lady who won continuously four times the sprint 100 meter dash in the olympics mark spitz seven times world champion in the swimming even when he used to enter any stadium the whole stadium will stand up you know it's an honor and here we see people are so excited a king has come and he is going to deliver us from this bondage of romans they took the palm leaves and they put it they removed the cross even when they brought the coat the people who went there to bring they put their like a saddle on the donkey donkey is considered as a peaceful animal but i had a different opinion experience in school days in the holy celebration because most of all my friends my neighbors my living is all with the brahmins and we will go get a donkey tie a thread try to sit and ride on it and it will never allow you to sit on top of it and it has a back kick it will kick from the back leg two three rounds we try tried and ultimately one muslim boy are tumko kya hota hai yaar main dikhata hu kaisa i will show you how to climb he took that thing and he went near it turned and kicked him back and his leg broke it different that is why one of the preacher was preaching he was telling in london times he says people humans have died with donkeys more than the air crash but when my jesus sat on the peaceful he took on him and if you consider today who are donkeys we are all donkeys we need to carry jesus on our back in our walk our talk our life maybe in 40 days you would have prepared yourself you would have read the bible and you would have fasted i was posted in a tackle called a small place when i was in vijaya bank a rural service after calcutta i straight went to tackle but living here and traveling it was not a bank building it was a gowda's house i'll sit as a manager here and cashier left side right side one clerk inside two clerks working one ex service man mr vargas who was posted there every half an hour he will go out i can see him walking out coming in because those days or even now in the villages there is no attached bathrooms they have to go outside only i thought maybe he has sugar problem or some health problem he must be going for the washroom i called him one day mr vargas please come here see it is not good that you every half an hour you are going out and coming in 
what, why, what is the problem? Tell me. Can I help you? Sir, no, sir. Unless I smoke, I can't work. Every half an hour, I need one smoke. I said, it's very bad, bad for health. And all. I gave him little you know, tips and uh, counseling. The following week, I didn't go him, I uh, didn't see him going out. I was wondering, oh, my talk and my counseling has helped. I said, Mr. Vargas, come here. I'm so happy. I don't see you going out. Last Wednesday was Ash Wednesday, sir. 40 days, I don't drink, I smoke, I don't eat non-vegetarian. Oh, that's so okay. But, sir, anyway, you have called me. Easter Monday, I won't leave. For what? Sir, all 40 days, we are dry. All friends and family on Sunday after the service will booze, will have party. Monday will be hangover, sir. I'll come on Tuesday. Hope Bapa Nino. Namaskara. Why? This is the way people celebrate fasting the Lenten days for the 40 days. But I'll tell you one very important incident happened when I was in Bible society. I was sitting in my cabin. A boy, auto driver, brought an old lady, pretty old. She came in and I stood up because seeing her age and she brought one bag and came. I made her sit on the chair and slowly I said, yes, auntie, tell me, what can I do for you? Slowly she removed a Bible which was totally worn out, torn every side of it. And she said, Appa, I want a new Bible because I'm unable to finish Hundred the time. She has read 99 times. The Bible read by their auntie 99 times and now Lenten days is approaching. Before Easter comes, I want to finish one more time. So can you give me one Bible? I was shivering. My God, I'm preaching. I call myself a preacher. I go here, there, share. But hundred times reading one lady I'm meeting, it's a blessing for me. I called my assistant manager. That is accounts manager, Vandana Mabin, you all must know her very well. We miss her very much. I called her and introduced auntie and told her what happened. You know what Vandana's nature? Tears. Started crying. My yen brother is auntie. She went and bent. I called all the staff, encouraged them at least this coming Lenten days. Read once at least and gave and sent. Why I'm telling you? Because the word of God keeps us closer to God. We, we see that all the four gospels speak about this, but there's a uniqueness in it. John 12, the final week, we see that Jesus on earth, half of John is about Jesus from his testimony. And then Matthew Two-fifth he has written about. And Luke, one-third is written about Palm Sunday. And John, one-half. And Mark, three-fifth. This is written about the Passion Week. The Passion Week. The Holy Week that we call. There are 89 chapters written about it in four Gospels. Four are written about his 30 years of life and 85 chapters covers three and a half years of his ministry on the earth. And then we see that 29 of 85 times covers the last week. That is this week starting before the Easter Sunday, the Palm Sunday. And then we see that in John 12, 12, Jesus more appealing than a religion. He appears, he emphasizes on his spirituality, not the religion. Whenever I preach, whether in the church, whether in the public, whether in the conference, or wherever it is, where non-Christians are there, I mention that Christianity is not a religion. It is only a relationship with God. How you relate with him is more important than following the religion and traditions and rituals. 1978, I was transferred to Ramnagaram, Vijaya Bank. There when I went, we used to go by taxi, go by bus, go by motorcycle. My senior colleague was coming with me one day. 
he was sitting in front and I am sitting this side to the window. We have to pass Bidhi before reaching Ramnagaram, 10 kilometers from Bidhi to Ramnagaram. As we are going there, suddenly he looked out and did like this. I saw that. I said, Vishwanath, what are you doing? Oh, you are. Nammaneli chikku vaisna inda heli dare temple nodi dare ee tara maadu veko namaskara maadu veko devarigi namaskara maadu veko adu nan follow maadu thin adu madra nan bitti la yavaglo how do sir temple nodi dare maadu veko yakar nam christians now church nodi dare kong maadu thin nija adar niyo yak nang maadu dare yak yen aitu alla adu bidi di police station sir ayyo nan nan nodi lela adu on chala hingal na decoration it tala nan adu temple an kong bitte that is tradition and rituals Without realizing what you are doing for what you are doing to what you are. No. God wants you to be with him spiritually connected. You will not make these mistakes. Because he is a God of honor. The whole world is broken now. Each and everyone is broken. That is why your church has selected a wonderful title of brokenness and healing. For the witnesses. Brokenness and healing. What a wonderful subject it is. That is why one should be very, very careful in living a Christian life. Because we are not living by ourselves. We are not blessed, you know, God is not blessing only us. We have to be a blessing to others. When people look at you, hear you, mingle with you, deal with you, they should find that you are a different person altogether. You are not the ordinary person like any other person in the world. They will come with a brokenness to you. What is your job to do? That share the good news of Jesus Christ, God's love. Pray for them. Listen to them first. Sometimes what we do is before listening we will give our consent. We will judge them. Sorry. We will judge them. So it is very important for us to be with connected with Jesus Christ, not with the tradition or rituals. The religion shows you tradition and rituals. But Jesus connects spirituality because what is, is unable to break with the religion, Jesus will break it spiritually for you to give the victory to you. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, it is so important as we see why this happened and why Jesus came to this Jerusalem as a timeful entry that we call to fulfill what was written 500 years before he came there. To fulfill the prophecy in Zechariah, we read, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout in triumph, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. He is just and endowed with salvation, humble and mounted on a donkey, even on a colt, the foal of a donkey. It tells like that. Even in Matthew 21, we read it is 500 before this was written. He mentions in Matthew. That is why it is very important for us. All the four gospels speak what? About heart. About our heart. What is a heart? What are those hearts? Defiled heart, deceptive heart, defiled heart, disciplined heart, and discouraged heart. Yes, we are in a deceptive heart, my dear brothers and sisters. What is that? Again, it comes to the religion and spirituality. And what is that defiled heart? We see that regularly we keep, hum we need to be humble. We need to be humble so that that defiled heart will be converted into disciplined heart. God deals only with heart. That is why in 1 Corinthians, as we read today, it mentions that you are the temple of living God. You are the temple of living God. How we are temple of the living God? We are the temple. Temple is here in the heart. What comes in the heart will go to the brain and then we act according to that. You ask any doctor. Because I had spent a lot of time with Devi Prasad Shetty, Dr. Devi Prasad Shetty, who was one of the best heart surgeons ever what we hear now and his experience and lacks of 
open heart surgeries and heart surgery because I met him in Calcutta when I was in bank. I was a blood donor. I took my colleague, became friends. He was very young at that time, in 90, 91. And after having good fellowship with him, after spending time with him, when he came to Manipal Hospital, he, he knew that I was in Vijay Bank. He has called the head office because he needed blood, A positive. Anybody needs? No, no, I can't give. I'm over age now. Sorry. I, anyway, those days I was giving. You know why he called me? Four-year-old child has a hole in the heart. I'm going to operate. We need blood. Because in Calcutta, I know that you were giving. I hope you're continuing. I said, yes, doctor, I'm continuing. And then, you know, I, I went and gave. And he didn't charge anything to that boy. After six months, he called me and said, an old man is there from village. He's also open heart surgery. Is it possible for you to come and give? You have any friends you can bring? I said, OK, yes. We gave. He didn't charge anything to him. But the authority, the management called him. This is not a charitable hospital. You have to charge. He said, excuse me, one minute. He went out, went to his room, came back. He left one letter and a check. He said, this is my resignation letter and this is my check. Any amount that I have made lost for you, please fill in and take it. He came out. Today we have Narana Hudalaya on Hosur Road. Similarly, A. S. Hegde, who operated my wife, 2010, for the brain surgery, arachnoid cyst, seven hours operation. As the day came for the discharge, I went to doctor because I went to the hospital only with 700 rupees, which was enough for three bottles of mineral water every day. That was the medicine for her after the brain surgery. I went, he came for the round, I went and asked him, doctor, 24 hours remaining, please let me know. Because when I went to Bible Society, our general secretary said, oh my God, what is happening to our family, Bible Society? Yesterday only I sanctioned 8 lakh rupees to one cancer patient. I told him, I will not trouble you, sir. I will not take any paisa from you. Please pray. I came away. I don't know why I said, what guts I had, and what sources I had. I had... Some friends will come forward. So I asked him. He came out with me, put his hand, tall man, and he said, I have treated Christy as my daughter. Because he knew that we both have left our lucrative job and come for the ministry. I didn't know that. He told me that. And he said, you just take the summary report and go. Again, the management called him. Again, the same word. This is not a charitable hospital. You have put them in the special ward. You have given the food for husband and wife. And all this you have done. You know how much loss? He went to his room came with a letter and the check, kept it, and he is in Ramaya Hospital. Why I am telling you? It is a heart is very important. So much important is that what is in your... He went to the temple. What did he see there? What is temple meant for? What is church meant for? To worship the Lord, to glorify God, and it is a prayer house. I see many of the people in some churches come and alter. They'll be praying even if it is not Sunday. That is a reverence. They spend time with God. Yes. So what is happening now? Where is that sanctity? It is totally defiled. It's become a defective. Defective organization, defective churches, defective temples. Sorry. So in that case, how are we going to correct this? How are we going to do something different? These 40 days, so unique number it is. Because Noah was transformed with the 40 days of rain. Moses was transformed in the Mount Sinai for 40 days. Elijah ate one food which was sustained him for 40 days. Jesus was not transformed. Jesus went to wilderness. He was empowered. He was empowered in 40 days. Disciples walked with Jesus after resurrection for 40 days. If I'm standing here today, 
it is because of 40 days rain in Gadag Betagari in my mother's native place. My cousin is here around. He will be knowing. If he doesn't know, he can ask me the details. Why? There was a Swati rain, Swati Malay, they call it as. 40 days and 40 nights it rained. All the houses fell, all mud houses. And when there is a German hospital in Gadag Betagari, and Gadag is near Hubli, in between my native place and Hubli. And there, German doctors, they had all those days, though they are doctors, they were missionaries. They brought many of these people who were on the road, they brought them and kept in the, their bungalows. They gave him blankets, beds, everything. Every morning they'll come, they'll sing one song. And then they'll say, go here for the breakfast. They'll all go in queue and have breakfast. My grandfather, Devputra Ajja, okay, he and his wife, Subhadrama, she was a headmistress later. He went and asked them, Doctor, which God are you worshipping? Yau dherna niu puja martira. Doctor took it back. Said, Yake, what happened? Illa nanga adhevru beku. Now we are a busy litvi. We were on the street, without shelter, without anything. All my, he was a viewer, my grandfather was a viewer. All my weaving machine went away, everything in the house went away, house fell down, and you came back and you know, you have put us here. I want that Jesus. Then they shared the gospel. He and his wife, my grandmother, they accepted Christ. They accepted Christ, then you know, from mother's side it started. And the father's side, it was another story. I, I will not share some other time, maybe I'm here for three days. Why I'm telling you? The missionary's work was not only giving them shelter, not only giving them food, not only giving them the facilities. After some time, before they went out there, they said, what is your profession? One fellow said, I'm carpenter. They gave the carpentry full kit. What are you tailoring? They gave tailoring. What are you, my grandfather? He said, I'm a weaving. We were. Then they gave a weaving machine. You know why they did that? Because they had a lot of money? No. They have sacrificed from their place and come here from England, from Germany, from America, from different places. Missionaries came today if we are having these churches. I went to Hudson Church 118 last year to preach the anniversary. Joshua, you know, why I'm telling you all this? Because of their sacrifice, because of their love for God, because of their transformation. That is very important. These celebrations are there every year. It comes and goes. But what has it made you? Where you stand? Is it a ritual or it is a spiritual? That is more important for us. Then brokenness, as we speak about brokenness, how important it is to see that the brokenness about Isaiah 56, 1, 8. I think I, I'm running out of time also. This is what the Lord says. Guard justice and do righteousness for my salvation is about to come and my righteousness to be revealed. Blessed is a man who does this and son of man who takes hold of it. Who keeps from profaning the Sabbath and keeps his hand from doing any evil. That is the brokenness and healing among the witnesses. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, we need to be there, anybody is broken hearted, anybody is facing any problem in the church maybe, in your neighborhood maybe, in your office maybe, or anywhere it may be, you should be a channel of blessings for them. That is why brokenness is everywhere. Even today our government is facing problem, it is a brokenness again. I'm not a politician, I'm not going to preach anything about a politician uh, or politics, but what I'm trying to tell you is, I only want to ask you to pray for our nation. Things are going bad, bad to worse. We are the people who are connected with him. We only can do something. We only can see that even the government will be transformed. It is possible. When I gave Bible to Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, you know, I'm a board member in one of the international school. He had come there and I gave him the Bible. And it was... Uh, Tamil and English, because he was reading Tamil, though he's a Telugu man. I said, hey, very good, very good, he said, very good, very good. <clears throat> and then all the dignitaries and politicians 
and the chairman, the staff, everybody had a photo shoot and they all stood out. When he was going, they can wave hand. They are waving hand, but what is Abdul Kalam is doing? Dr. Abdul Kalam, he has opened the Bible and reading and going in the car. No, he never saw anybody waving. That is a commitment that gentleman had. Today also many people remember him. Gave it to governor of Karnataka, politician, name it. Bibles have gone in their hand. Hope they will open one day and read. That is why you also be channel of blessings. Let this Palm Sunday, let the triumphal entry, let Jesus enter into your heart. Yes, it's more important for us. No, 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 I am a regular church goer. I am a pastor team member. I am from a Christian family. I am from pastor's family. All that is fine. When is your commitment? When you got transformed? When you accepted Christ? Time is very short. We do not know. We say that how, you know, I, I remember when Gladstone Maven came to my office, Bible Society. He said, brother, I'm facing problem. I'm a treasurer of Andrew Church. I'm facing problem. I said, what problem, brother? Your pastor is there to help. No, no, pastor only told me to go to you. He said, what is that? They are not accepting our money in the Vijaya Bank, Infant Road, from where me and Sister Jyoti, I don't know whether she's Jyoti John. You know, we both worked in the same branch. And I went to the branch. After a few years, I came out in 2000. I went and spoke to the manager. He was not very favorable. I told Gladson, come, let's go. I went to the head office, met the general manager. And I told him, sir, I have not come here as I'm a Christian and I belong to Andrew Church or they know me, no. I am telling you, what is the customer service you tell me? Renik, why are you getting excited? I said, it is not excited. Money is gathered, you know, it is not good to keep so much of money. Every Sunday, we get a lot of offerings. Then immediately in front of me, in front of Gladson, he called the manager. He said, whatever the amount may be, you accept. Otherwise, it is different, he said. That means I'll transfer you indirectly. Immediately, then, you know, he shook hands with me. Next day, Vandana came and said, Yen, brother, you know, don't do magic mud. Nan, the magic mud. Nan, ho, they, kail, they, or madi, draste, there is sotra, draste. Why I'm remembering her? A wonderful person I had for 14 years, we worked together. And whenever I hear of Stuti, that comes. Even Anna also, I remember always being there as a spirit. Why? Because of the transformation. Because of the transformation, one will behave like that. That is why, in your life, maybe, occasion never came, nobody told me personally that I should repent for my sins and accept Jesus Christ. Then only I become child of God. Then only because Jesus sent his disciples for the ministry outside. Peter, James, all of the disciples went out. They healed people in the name of Jesus. They came back rejoicing. Lord, what wonderful things happened. The blinds got aside, the lame walked, the sick was healed. What was the response from the leader? Oh my God, good. I will give you promotion. I'll give you increment. I'll give you gift, he said. He said, do not rejoice on this. Rejoice that your name is written in the book of life. Otherwise, you have no entry into heaven. That is what how our Lord Jesus treats us. If they may be there, I'm broken hearted. Maybe because of that broken heartedness, you have hardened your heart. Not giving place for Jesus to come inside. Let this Palm Sunday of 2024 be a different year for you. A transformation in your life. It is a must. We do not know when we end our life. When we stop breathing, we do not know. No doctors knows. No Swamiji's knows. No Guruji's knows. Nobody knows except God. He gives life. He can take life. But your journey is finished. With a good note, he will call you. My sister died. Four years back, four, five years back, one month before she died, she went to 28 police stations. Not because she committed any crime, but to give the Bibles. And one circle inspector in Sadashinagar, he said, why can't you go and meet our commissioner? She said, I don't know how to go, what to do. He gave the number, directed, sent a cop and all that. That commissioner says, madam, you should keep coming and tell us good things, you know, because we feel nice and peaceful. We are very tensed up all the time. 
So, if that is a commitment, why not we do that? Give one Bible that will transfer not one, many. Speak about Jesus, speak the gospel. It will not transfer only one person. He will go and tell the other, other it multiplies. Do it. Let's close our eyes. God has given us a wonderful time. Yes, my dear church members, God has spoken to us through his triumphal entry. Will you open your heart that he can enter into your heart triumphantly and make you the victor? I will not ask you to raise your hands. I will not ask you to stand up. I will not ask you to come forward. But I will only ask you to do the prayer of repentance. I repent for my sins, Lord. Uh, forgive my sins. Come into my heart. Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Anyone who hears and opens the door, I will come in. He's waiting outside your door, heart's door. Open it. I'll give just a moment, then I'll close in prayer. Gracious, loving Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to thank you and praise you, Father, for this Farm Sunday. Father, thank you, Lord, for giving this opportunity for all of us to listen to your word. Those who have made commitment, those who have accepted you, those who called you in their heart, bless them. They are your children. Lead them and guide them. Thank you for the Presbytery in charge, Reverend Dr. Dexter Mabin and Godson and Reverend Kotian and the pastorate committee and the whole congregation, the sexton and the helper and each and every one, Lord. I praise thee, I thank thee for your presence with us. Bless them and lead them and guide them. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Amen. We thank Reverend Dr. Vasant Rainik for sharing the word, preparing us also for the Holy Week. We also want to pray for God's blessings as he serves as the conference evangelist in the Methodist Church in India and continues to minister for God's glory. He'll be ministering to us during this Holy Week. As I shared, that we'll be reflecting on the Gospel according to St. Mark. As you read through the text for this week, you'll realize and we understand that it is exactly the chronological sequence that the Lord went through throughout and up to the cross on Good Friday and Easter. So let's prepare ourselves for the Holy Week and thank you once again, Dr. Renik, for sharing your view of the past state committee and the congregation. May we all stand and affirm our faith together in the words of the Apostles' Creed, page 56. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He sits at the right hand of the Father, and will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Kindly be seated. We will now be favored by the anthem, by the choir. Lift up your heads, all the gates, Handel's Messiah.
Thank you, choir, for celebrating the King of Glory in the words of celebrated pieces of Handel's Messiah. Thank you so much. At this moment, we also want to quickly take time to thank God for the Christian Broadcasting Network, a global network broadcasting Christian message and sharing the good news globally and also in India. And especially for the last few days, it's been a time of celebration for us at Andrews for the music ministry, especially for our choir and Suthi at St. Andrews, who are recording songs in our church and which will be broadcast nationally by CBN, Christian Broadcasting Network. And we're so grateful that they have chosen St. Andrews and have taken time and have continued to recognize the gifts of talents that, of music that God has bestowed upon each one of our members in the music ministry. I'd like to now welcome two of the leaders of the CBN India, Mr. Vivek Augustine, senior producer, CBN India, and Mr. Sajimon, senior camera person, CBN India, to come forward and receive our tokens of appreciation from our secretary, Wing Commander I.D. Stones, who has also facilitated the recording of the songs by CBN India. Thank you so much, Mr. Vivek Agustin and Mr. Sajimon. I request Mr. Andrew Bhaganathan, our choir director, to come forward and also share a token of appreciation to CBN India. Our recordings will, thank you, uh, Vivek and Sajimon. The recordings will continue today and tomorrow. Continue to pray for this as it will be broadcast and we will inform you as the date and timings of the broadcast are both on social media platforms and on television as we give, all, give God all the glory and thanks for this time. We'll have the announcements for the week. Kardura Banuvarga Shubhara Kegalu Preacher Savadari Matu Savadari Re Devala Dalli Matu Nima Managalinda Indu Yaradhan El Palgundirva Tamil Rannu Prabhu Yesu Vena Hesari Nalli Vandisi Swagati Swaragi Deve Eidina Devara Vakya Sandeshavan Nidida Gana Dr. Vasant William Renik Avarannu Sabbevaralar Paravagi Vandisi Swaragi Deve We invite you to join the members of the congregation for a fellowship coffee after the worship service. Today's breakfast sale has been organized by the Women's Fellowship of a Church. The meetings of the Career Hub and Youth Fellowship will be conducted as usual. Please be informed that Tuesday, the 26th of March, the Prayer Fellowship will not be meeting because of the Holy Week service, but will resume from Tuesday, the 2nd of April. VBS. The VBS will be conducted from 6th to 14th of April 2024 with the theme, The Return Gift. For more details, please contact the Sunday School Superintendent, Mrs. Sujata Kishore. Please check the notice board for the following. Admissions in CMC, Vellore and CSI College of Engineering, UTI. Vacancies in Bishop Cotton Boys School, Methodist Mission High School, the Bible Society of India. The operatory details for the last week are as follows. Free will offering rupees 94,700. Sunday school offering rupees 37,420. General offering rupees 24,970. Care for elderly fund rupees 19,100. Mission and evangelism fund rupees 14,700. St. Andrew School Fund, rupees 12,900, thanks offering 9,500, Lenten service offering rupees 5,970, evening service 4,200, self-denial offering rupees 1,400, bereavement fund rupees 1,000, totaling 
an, am to the, an amount of 2,25,860 only. <clears throat> Please note that there is no worship service this evening. The Holy Week meditations will begin at 6.30 p.m. starting Monday and Reverend Dr. Vasant William Renick will be the speaker. Monday Thursday worship service on 28th of March at 6.30 p.m. will be a combined Holy Communion worship service. The combined Good Friday worship service will begin at 9 a.m. followed by meditation at, on the seven, seven words of the cross at 11.30 a.m. on the 29th of March 2024. On Easter Sunday, the sunrise worship service begins with the play by the Youth Fellowship of our church at 5 a.m., followed by the Easter Sunday worship service at 9 a.m. Both are combined worship services and the Holy Communion will be celebrated. Wish you a blessed Holy Week ahead. The Bangalore Civil Area Council is organizing a Palmer Center rally. Today afternoon, the rally will begin at 2.30 p.m. at St. John's High School and end with at the Goodwill Girls High School. There will be programs and tableaus requesting and encouraging all of us to join. The people of God, we are glad and we have the leadership team of the Pastorate Committee to share the repair and the painting work along with that. We took up the work of the renovation of the vestry to my right and to my left supporting in preparation for the service and the music ministry. We're glad to share that the renovation work is now complete and we give all glory and honor to God and inviting all of us to come and see the work to my left where the, there is more storage and facilities upgraded for the music ministry. We thank God and want to thank each one of you for your prayers and support for the work of God. We want to wish everybody celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries, God's choice as blessings. We offer offerings to God as of it all is being played.
ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಣಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ಮೂಲಕವಾಗಿ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಸಮರ್ಪಿಸೋಣ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥನೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪರಲೋಕದ ತಂದೆಯ ದೇವರೇ ಇನ್ನು ನಿನ್ನ ದಿವ್ಯ ಆಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಸೇರಿ ಬಂದು ಖರ್ಜೂರ ಗರಿಗಳ ಭಾನುವಾರದ ಈ ವಿಶೇಷ ಅವರಂತ ಆರಾಧನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಭಾಗವಹಿಸುವಂತೆ ನಿನ್ನ ನಡೆಸಿದ್ದಿ ಇದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಪ್ರವಾದಿಗಳು ತಿಳಿಸಿದಂತೆ ಅರಸನಾಗಿ ಮೆಸ್ಸಿಯನಾಗಿ ದೀನತೆಯ ಮೆಸ್ಸಿಯನಾಗಿ ಏರುಸಲೇಮನ್ನ ಪ್ರವೇಶದ ವಿಶೇಷವಾದ ಕಾರ್ಯವನ್ನು ನಾವಿಂದು ಸ್ಮರಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾ ನಾವು ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಇಡೀ ಲೋಕಕ್ಕೆ ನೀನು ಅರಸನು ಸಮಾಧಾನದ ಪ್ರಭು ಎಂಬುದಾಗಿ ಪ್ರಕಟ ಮಾಡಿದಂಥ ದಿನ ಅಂತೆಯೇ ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಹೃದಯಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಅರಸನಾಗಿ ಜೀವಿಸಲು ಇಷ್ಟಪಡುವಂಥ ಕರ್ತನಾಗಿದ್ದಿ ದೊರೆತನದ ಅರಸನಲ್ಲ ಬದಲಾಗಿ ದೀನತೆಯ ಅರಸನು ಸೇವೆ ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಅರಸನು ಪ್ರೀತಿಯ ಅರಸನಾಗಿ ನಾನು ಪ್ರಕಟ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದು ಇದನ್ನು ನಾವು ಸ್ಮರಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಾ ನಾವು ನಿಮಗೆ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಮಾತ್ರವಲ್ಲ ನಿನ್ನ ಅರಸು ನಮ್ಮ ನಾವು ದೀನತೆಯಿಂದ ಒಪ್ಪಿಕೊಂಡವರ ನಮ್ಮ ನಡೆ ನುಡಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ನಿನ್ನನ್ನು ಮೆಚ್ಚಿಸುವವರ ಜೀವಿಸುವಂಥ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಮುನ್ನಡಿಸಿ ಎಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ನಿನ್ನ ವಾಕ್ಯದ ಫಲವನ್ನು ಆತ್ಮನ ಸಹಾಯವನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಬಾಳ್ವೆಗೆ ಹೊಸ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅನ್ವಯಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಡೆಸಿ ಎಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಈ ಹಬ್ಬದ ಸಂದೇಶವು ನಮ್ಮ ಮನದಲ್ಲಿ ಸದಾಕಾಲ ಇದ್ದವರು ಇದ್ದುಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ನಿನಗೆ ಸ್ತುತಿಯನ್ನು ಸ್ತೋತ್ರವನ್ನು ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಸಲ್ಲಿಸುವಂತೆ ನೀ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ನಾಡಿಸು ಈ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಸಮರ್ಪಿಸಿದ ಕಾಣಿಕೆಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ನಕ್ಕ ಪೇಳ ಕೈಗಳಿಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಇದನ್ನು ನಿನ್ನ ಆಶ್ವಾಸ ನಿನ್ನ ರಾಜ್ಯದ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗಾಗಿ ಇದನ್ನು ಉಪಯೋಗ ಮಾಡಿ ಎಂಬ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಈ ಕಾಣಿಕೆಯು ಅಗತ್ಯತೆಯಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜನರಿಗಾಗಿ ಸೇವೆಗಾಗಿ ಅದು ಯೋಗ್ಯ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಉಪಯೋಗವಾಗುವಂಥ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಶ್ವಾದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀನು ನಡೆಸಿ ಎಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಇದನ್ನು ಪ್ರೀತಿಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿಯೂ ತ್ಯಾಗಪೂರ್ವಕವಾಗಿಯೂ ಸಮರ್ಪಿಸಿದ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರನ್ನು ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ನಾ ಕೃಪೆಗಳ ಕೈಗಳ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಅಂತರಂಗದ ಬಯಕೆಯನ್ನು ನೀನು ಬನ್ನಿ ನಿನ್ನ ದಿವ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ತಾನುಸಾರವಾಗಿ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲರ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆಗಳು ನೀನು ಕಾಲೋಚಿತವಾಗಿ ಒದಗಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟು ತೃಪ್ತಿಪಡಿಸಿ ಬಲಪಡಿಸಿ ನನ್ನ ಆಶ್ರಯಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಮುಂದೆ ಸಾಗುವಂತೆ ನೀವರನ್ನ ನಡೆಸು ತಮ್ಮ ಜನ್ಮದಿನವನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸುವವರನ್ನು ವಿವಾಹ ವಾರ್ಷಿಕವನ್ನು ಆಚರಿಸುವವರನ್ನು ನಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಕೃಪೆಳಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಕಳೆದ ಎಲ್ಲ ವರ್ಷಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ದಿನಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವರ ಜೊತೆ ಕಾರಣನಾಗಿದ್ದಂತೆ ಪಾಲಿಸುವಂಥ ಹೊಸ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಕೂಡ ಹೊಸತನದಿಂದ ಹೊಸ ಬಲದಿಂದ ಹೊಸ ನಿರೀಕ್ಷೆಯಿಂದ ನಿನ್ನ ಆಶ್ರಯಿಸಿಕೊಂಡವರಾಗಿ ನಿನ್ನ ದಿವ್ಯ ಚಿತ್ತ ಏನೆಂದು ಅರಿತುಕೊಂಡವರಾಗಿ ಜೀವಿಸುವಂಥ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀವು ನಮ್ಮ ನಡೆಸಿ ಎಂದು ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ನ ಸಾಕ್ಷಿಯ ಬಾಳ್ವೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಮುಂದೆ ಸಾಗುವಂತೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಕೃಪಾ ವಾರಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರ ಬಾಳ್ವೆಗೆ ಹೇರಳವಾಗಿ ಒದಗಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಡೆಸು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಮಕ್ಕಳನ್ನು ಅವರನ್ನ ಆ ಕೃಪೆಳ ಕೇಳಿಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಪರೀಕ್ಷೆಯ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಬೇಕಂತ ನಿನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿವೇಕವನ್ನು ಒದಗಿಸಿಕೊಡು ಯೋಗ್ಯವಾದಂಥ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ತಮ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಭ್ಯಾಸವನ್ನು ಮಾಡುವಂಥ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದವನ್ನು ನೀನು ದಯಪಾಲಿಸಿ ಎಂದು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಅಸೌಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಭೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸದಸ್ಯರಿಗಾಗಿ ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ವೃದ್ಧಾಪ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿರುವಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲ ತಂತಾಯಿಗಳಿಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಮನೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಇನ್ನು ಆಸ್ಪತ್ರೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿಯೂ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸೆಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದುವಂಥ ಎಲ್ಲರನ್ನು ನಾವು ನಾ ಕೃಪೆಳ ಕೇಳಿಗೆ ಒಪ್ಪಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ಐವರವರಿಗಾಗಿ ನಾವು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ನಿನ್ನ ಕೃಪಾ
ನಡೆಯುವಂತೆಲ್ಲ ಸೇವೆಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಿನ್ನ ದಿವ್ಯ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದವನ್ನು ನಿನ್ನ ತಾಯಿ ಪಾಲಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಡೆಯಿಸು ಕರ್ತನ ವಿಶೇಷವಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಮ್ಮ ರಾಜ್ಯಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ನಾವು ನಿಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಇರುವಂತೆಲ್ಲ ಗೊಂದಲಮಯ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯನ್ನು ನೀನು ಬಲ್ಲಿ ರಾಜಕೀಯ ಸ್ಥಿರತೆಯು ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ನೆಲೆಗೊಳ್ಳುವಂಥ ಕೃಪೆ ಕೂಡ ಎಂದು ನಾನು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಸೈತನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಧವಂಥ ಕುತಂತ್ರಗಳಿಂದ ನೀನು ನಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲ ಜನರನ್ನು ನೀನು ತಪ್ಪಿಸಿ ಪಾರು ಮಾಡಿ ಯೋಗ್ಯ ನಾಯಕರು ಯೋಗ್ಯ ಪಕ್ಷವು ಅದು ಬರುವಂಥ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದಕ್ಕೆ ನೀನು ನಡೆಸಿ ಎಂದು ನಾನು ಪ್ರಾರ್ಥಿಸ್ತೇವೆ ಮುಂದಿನ ವಾರ ಕೂಡ ನೀನು ನಮ್ಮೊಂದಿಗಿರು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಹಾಯಕನಾಗಿರು ನಿನ್ನ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದನ ಹೊಸ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಿರ್ಮಿಸಿದವರಾಗಿ ತಿರುಗಿ ನ ದಿವ್ಯ ಸನ್ನಿಧಾನಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಬರುವಂತೆ ನೀ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಮುನ್ನಡಿಸು ಘನ ಮಾನ ಮಹಿಮೆನೆ ಗುಂಟಾಗಲಿ ಯೇಸುನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬೇಡುತ್ತೇವೆ ತಂದೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೀ ದ ಲಾಸ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಅವು ಫಾದರ್ but as well from me for the end of the kingdom power and glory <coughs> we sing as a closing hymn number 234 hymn 234 ride on ride on majesty hark all the tribes hosanna cry receive god's benediction the peace of god which surpasses all understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of god and of his son jesus christ our lord and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be amongst us and remain with us always amen, amen.